Good morning, lovely friends. Welcome to a new episode of Living Eve 4x4. In today's episode, we drove to Fez. Going back to our trip in Morocco, we show you the drive between our last stop, Chef Chow and Two Fez. Our trip started at the end of April when locals were doing Ramadan. But this was not a problem, because we had the most fantastic experience with local people, with their foods and farm-style business house. We hope you enjoy! I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home Frank the Tank for the past almost four years. And together with our son Mateo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living Give for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. Yesterday we came here in the evening, just in time for dinner, <laughs> with the family of Fabian's friends. And this was amazing. They gave us amazing presents. See the presents here. <laughs> this is so sweet. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Mateo Zinho. Isabella, what just I happened? I am preparing Mateo. They, what just happened? We are here in the house. Fez. Of, yeah, we are in Fez, in the house of the friends. And they just gave us for a present the traditional shoes, Moroccan shoes, and the clothes. And this is correct. It's amazing. It's the there it is, Fabian. <laughs> Shukran. <laughs> Shukran. <laughs> and the shoes? And the shoes. I have new shoes. Awesome. Guys, look. This is this is leather. Mateo, Isabella, look. Look at him. Mateo. Oi. Was hast du denn da? Das sind deine neue Klamotten. Was machst denn du? Wo sind denn deine Schuhe? Die Schuhe sind nicht da. Matthias. Ui. Oh mein Gott. Hä? Du bist so süß. So nice, they are still doing Ramadan, but they told us that, look at this table behind me, that they wanted to serve us breakfast. <laughs> and this is amazing, they are so lovely, it's unbelievable how nice the people here are. And they have like a farm, I don't know if you guys can hear the birds and everything and how green it is everything. They have a farm here in outskirts of Fez. It's pretty cool. They have their own, they plant their own vegetables, fruits and everything else. They have cows for the milk. They have a sheep. They have horses, running horses. It's really amazing. I think if I have time, I go up there and I will film that you guys all can see. Whoa, yum, yum, yum. Wow! Bonjour. Bonjour! Oh wow! I have to say I feel a little bad because it's uh, still Ramadan but they did not, we didn't ask for this, this is the thing like we were just parked and we would be fine in our truck but they said no, they insisted, they prepared this and look what we come to what breakfast table um, so it's Nobody wants to force anything on you. It's Ramadan. You do whatever you do and of course if you want to eat you eat So don't be shy and come uh, also to Morocco when it's Ramadan mm -hmm. And a lot of people say 
No, you can't because there's nothing happening. No, maybe it's good that in cities you have a little bit more space for yourself. That's true during the day. But at night, the dinners are amazing and everything is great. So you got to be open for new cultures. Yes, and pretty I'm cool. And I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. And they drink a lot of orange juice. It's really nice. And here we have their bread. I don't know the name of the bread yet. But we had for dinner too, something similar. They have their own honey. This is here from the farm. <coughs> I think this is butter that they do also here with their own I think cows. this is eggs. Eggs. I'm not sure. Let's try. Butter. No, it's cheese maybe. It's butter. Mm, it's butter. Really fresh butter. Okay. This is amazing. Then olives. And of course. And yeah, you this can't is miss so the tea. Nice. Everywhere you can get your mint tea. Nice. Now we will enjoy. Then talk to you guys later. <laughs> uh oh. Basco is also a culture. There's hoot chicken and cats. And Basco doesn't know how to react. There's a lot of birds. They all attack Basco. Look at this. Just lay down, man. It's all good. <laughs> Uni is much more relaxed. By the way, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Like always, this platform has so much to offer. I found they also have some languages classes. It's pretty cool because, as you can hear, English is not my native language and I'm trying, for the sake of all of you, to improve that. And Skillshare has really nice content that will help me. Right now, I'm doing a class called English Grammar Pro Beginners to Advance from 4 Year English. And it's really nice because I'm trying to fix all my grammar mistakes and this teacher is really good at help with that. You can also learn Spanish, German, Portuguese, French, for example, before you travel to Morocco, to mention a few. The cool about Skillshare is that you can put subtitles, so you can watch your class with them if you need it. They are giving to our followers one month free trial. The first thousand people to use the link in our description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. <laughs> How nice! Look at that! Eggs! Bio eggs! We'll head the car. Oh, more eggs! Oh, wow! <laughs> From those? Uh, wow! I don't know the name of those birds. But they also put eggs to eat. <laughs> and here they also have a bull. They say they need because like that they can get babies. There it is. And they have the closed eyes because they say if they open their eyes, he gets crazy and he wants them to heat and to go out. Oi, food! Lunch time! Oh! <laughs> 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 Strong woman! Whoa! Down there they have some snails and they use the snails for to take the slime and to use for creams and he said like beauty uh, products and other things and this is really interesting it's down there lots of snails down there you guys can see like a hole, they are doing a little lake to collect water and because they wanted to have some fish I don't go close because he said it's a little dangerous but down there is the bees to produce honey here he wants to put more chickens to have more eggs but they needed to close the upper part because they have some kind of birds like eagles that will come and will take the chickens and then from here we get to the area where we have the cows there we go we have the baby cows, mama cow, 
we have. Oh, oh you guys are so pretty. Then here another beauty, another pretty lady there to give a lot of milk to the family. Here a little more of the babies. Look at the baby. This is so sweet. We and you look at those pretty babies. Yeah. Now we keep on going down. And then down here, in this door, is where they have the other horses, the one that they use for running. Hey, look at that. Hey, you guys are so pretty. You guys are so pretty. Hmm? Yeah. Look at all of them. Oh, I would like to make you free, my friend. Yeah. Vamos, vamos. This area here, they have sometimes for friends or for people that come on the gas station and want to sit here to eat something, do a pause. This is really nice. And now I will go there to show you guys the gas station that the family owns. And it's just here. Let me show you. We are parked here. We slept here. And this is the gas station. Pretty cool. This place would not be complete without a day in the largest and oldest Medina in the world. But this we will leave for the next episode. In part 2 of the face videos, you will see a walk around through the Medina and learn with us a little more about face history. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up or um joinha. And subscribe to our channel if you are not yet. Like that, you will get notified when we post a new video. See you when we see you!